it, man. The so-called Mexicans are divided, man. Just like the, just like the so-called African Americans, man. Right. They're divided, man. If you go, like say for instance, say for instance, you got a lot of Mexicans on the job site, okay? And, and another Mexican see that. He won't even go over there because he know, he know that going on that job, the wage is gonna be low. Yeah. So he gonna he gonna go somewhere else, man. Yep. That's division. Yep. Why would he go? Why wouldn't he go with his own people? Because right. he can't stand them. Because right. he know that they didn't submit it to Esau. Right. And, and fuck them the way. Fucking lambiculos, man. <laughs> lambiculos. And that's yeah. true. And that's true. You know what the elder is saying? That's true, man. Because I've done that. See? I've done that. You know. So what? You know what I'm saying? I fuck yeah, I see that shit and I'm like, man, I ain't going. Yeah, because you already know what type of time they are, yep. man. Yep. You see? Because I've done it. I've done it. You know, I've gone to a job site. And not just you, other other uh is uh other so-called Mexicans have done it. Because yep. they know, man. Yep. But Jake on the outside looking in, I mean when I say Jake, Jake is short for Jacob, but I'm talking about the so-called African American. The African American on the outside looking in think the so-called Mexicans all together. Yep. <laughs> hey, fuck they don't know, man. They don't know, man. I work with Mexicans, man. They be against each other, man. Hell yeah. They be talking cash shit to each other, man. Yeah. You see? They can't, they can't stand. They can't stand you having a better truck than them. Nah. Uh-uh. They, they can't stand. They hope you go down. They hope you go down to Mexico and get pulled over right. by the uh, by the checkpoint, and your car or your truck never make it out of Sinaloa, law, man. Right. <laughs> see? Yup. Yup. See? Yup. You know what I'm saying? Now, now, the, uh, now the Southern Kingdom would, would, would tell you, man, what, what did you just say? Sinaloa. Yeah, Sinaloa is, is a state in Mexico. Yeah. And it's known for cartel and, and, and carjacking. Yep, checkpoints. Checkpoints. You know, straight up just take you out your yeah, car yeah. at a light. At your light. That is a truck. Oh, if it's a truck. Oh, it's gone. I got a, one of my sisters went, you know what I'm saying, went down into Mexico. And uh, she's got one of them uh, Cadillac excursions. You know, like the 2019 or something. You know, yeah, yeah. Uh, upper one, man. She said as soon as they hit Mexico, across that border, man, man, they were chased by the cartels, man. Yeah. They had to, they had to fucking flee from them. She said it was like a fucking movie, swerving through lanes, going into incoming traffic, jumping through the middle things, curves and shit. So they actually found uh They were trying to get the truck from it. So they actually found a, a military uh, base over there, and they swerved up in them and there. And that's when the cartels kept going. You know, they had to take your shit, man. Yeah, yeah, take it, man. And that's and that's and that's this car against this car. <laughs> but Jake don't know stuff like that, man. Oh, and another thing too, you know, I know there's, there's a there's a famous dish, you know what I'm saying? Because I've I hung around, the, you know, Southern Kingdom a lot too. Uh, uh, chitlins. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, you would think, oh, oh man, guts. Yeah, they, they would think like, oh man, that's. That's, that's something that we do, something we do. Well, let, let me uh, let me tell you something. There's a thing called menudo, all right, that the Issacharites eat. Same thing. Same thing. And according to the scriptures, pork is illegal, man. It's illegal to eat, right? right? According to the scriptures, man. And I ain't never ate that shit, man. man. No fucking chillin', man. I can't fuck. I couldn't fucking stand that shit, man. man. Me neither. I, I I I'm not gonna lie. I, I mean, tried I, it. I've eaten pork before. Yeah. I, mean, I know fucking chillin', man. I couldn't eat that shit, yeah, man. I tried it when I was young, man, but that shit was fucking disgusting, man. I couldn't even eat that shit. No, That's a just gut the smell. Hog yeah. oh, yeah. guts. Yep. Big okay. guts. I, never, I couldn't, I couldn't, man. I, I wasn't no gut eater, man. They don't know. I never ate it neither. I mean, I, like I said, I tried it because I was little, but I tried that shit. I'm like, man, fuck that. Not knowing, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Until, uh, uh, further on, I started, you know, learning. Because my, my parents or, or, or the people they would hang around with, man, they would do that shit like right there, man. They'd get the fucking hog, you know, cut them open, you know, out in the farm and shit. Yeah. And do that shit. And I'm like, yo, why the fuck, why are you cleaning that out? There's yeah. nothing but shit in there. Oh, man, this is what Manula's made from. I was like, oh, shit, I don't even see how y'all yeah. eat that, man. Yeah, that's, that's illegal, man. You're not supposed to be eating pork, man. The most I didn't ate was bacon and uh, pork chop. You know what I'm saying? And sausage. That's what I ate when I was in the world. But come, come. before I came into the truth, shit, I, I wasn't even, I wasn't even eating none of that shit, man. I had been, I had, I had stopped eating pork, man, for like, it had to be like, uh, 
Man, it was a while, man. It had to be like seven years before I even came to the truth, man. And that's a spirit I wasn't up. even I wasn't even eating pork, man. Yeah. I had been quit that shit. Cause you know I had I had homeboys that get locked up, go to the penitentiary and be like, man, don't be eating that shit. You know right, what I'm saying? Right, right. So I had stopped. So I had stopped eating that shit long before I came into the truth, man. I remember one time, I remember one time, man, I was on lunch and I went to uh went to uh what was it, rallies. Restaurant rallies. Okay. Man, I told them not to put no bacon on my hamburger, man. I looked at you crazy. Man. Yeah, they looked at me crazy, but I told them, look, I still pay for all of it, just don't put it on there. Right. They put it on there anyway, man, when I got to the, oh, to yeah, the job yeah, site, yeah. man. Man, I, I couldn't even eat lunch, man. Right. This was a long time ago, though. This before I even came to wait, before I even came to the truth. You know what I'm saying? I was so hot, I couldn't even eat lunch, man. I took it back up there, you know what I'm saying? And, uh, they kept telling me, uh, I said, look, y'all can have this back, I don't want it. Right. You know what I'm saying? Give me a fresh one, I don't want it. They said, well, we can't do it, we can't do it. I said, man, this shit crazy. Y'all never get no more money, or I'd never shop with rallies ever again. I ain't never eat there again, man. That was so many years ago. Like I said, that was, I was seven years uh, before I even came to the truth, I had stopped eating pork, man. You know, and I ain't ate, I ain't ate no McDonald's, no Burger King, no rallies, no Wendy's, no, uh, none of them restaurants, man. At least about 15 years, man. I don't even eat that shit, man. I don't even eat that shit, man. It's been about 15 years, man. I know. Easy. I ain't even ate that shit. And that's the spirit of it, too, because even when I was in the world, too, I had had a bad experience with fucking pork, man. No Taco Bell? Yeah. This is a car say that's dog food. Yeah. My uncle, man, my uncle used to say, man, he wouldn't even feed that shit to his dog. Yeah, man. man. Hell no. He said that's an insult to his dog. Man. But yeah, back, to the come, 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 come. back to the scripture, folks. Back to the scripture, folks. You know this what I'm saying? Up. But, but uh, pork, according to the King James Bible, when you read uh, Leviticus, what is it, the eleventh chapter, uh, you're not supposed to eat uh, pork, okay? And you're only supposed to eat fish that with fins and scales, man. Okay? You ain't supposed to be eating no crab. You ain't supposed to be eating no lobster. You ain't supposed to be eating no shrimp, none of that stuff, man. Okay? No oysters. No oysters, none of that, man. You ain't supposed to be eating no duck, none of that. Rabbit. No rabbit. No bat. No bat. <laughs> no turtle soup, none of that, man. No man. raccoon, man. No squirrel, none of that, man. You ain't supposed to eat that, man. I, I mentioned no. I mentioned raccoon and squirrel because that's how they get down down south. You know, in these southern states. Like it's normal too, man. You know, no possum, they'll eat that shit too, man. People are crazy, man. You know, but go ahead, bro. Uh, second F 16, around about 62. Yeah, 62. Okay, this is uh, this is second Ezra chapter 16, verse 62. Yeah, and the spirit of almighty power, which made all things and search searcheth out all hidden things and the secrets of the earth. Surely he knoweth your invention. So he know two thirds of y'all Negro Latinos and Native American made a covenant with death, man. You see? He know, man. Your sinful nature, your sins caused you to be joined to Esau Edom, and he know you made a covenant with death, man. And he's gonna bury you in the grave right along with Esau, man, and his sister, man. Two thirds of y'all. Go ahead. And what ye think in your hearts? See? Go ahead. Even them that sin and would hide their sin. See? Go ahead. Therefore had the Lord exactly, yep. exactly searched out all your works, and he will put you all to shame. See? That's what it's gonna be, man. That's the future of you nigga Latinos and Native Americans who go against you, how about you shot? You gonna be put to shame, man. Join the East out, man. You gonna be right in the grave right along with them, man. You gonna face the wrath of the how about you shot, man. Believing in this system, man. Go ahead. This is uh, verse 65. And when your sins are brought forth, ye shall be ashamed before men. Yup. 
and your own sins shall be your accusers yep. in that day. Yeah. See? Because you didn't repent. You believed in this system, man. You believed in America, man. You didn't repent, man. And we read scriptures like this to show you, look, man, this is not, this is not the place of your hope, man. Okay? The most I gonna get rid of this place, man, according to the King James Bible, man. The counsel of Yahweh Bashim is that he get rid of Esau, Edom, Empire, and his rulership, man. For you claiming to him, man, yo, hey, man, you gonna die, man. Go ahead. What will ye do? Or how will ye hide your sins before the Most High Power and his angels? How? They see everything, man. How you gonna hide? He know who repented and he know who didn't repent. He know who believe in his son, he know who don't believe in his son. All that acting is out the window, man. You gonna be destroyed, man. Go ahead. Behold, the most high power himself is the judge. Fear him, leave off from your sins, and forget your iniquities to meddle no more with them forever. You better repent. Believe in his son. How was shy, man? And come back and apply these scriptures to the best of your ability, man. And the hell with what Esau got going, man. You know? Meaning, the hell with how his system is, uh, the hell with how his system, and he thinks everything is going to continue, man. The hell with that. Better come back to y'all watching that with y'all, man. Because Esau want to poison you and kill you and, and hit, hit some of you with the chip. Okay, go ahead. So shall the Most High Power lead you forth and deliver you from all trouble. Yeah, he gonna be elect. Them the ones who gonna be like that, the elect, he gonna deliver from all trouble. Go ahead. For behold, the burning wrath of a great multitude is kindled over you. Yeah, that's why Joe Biden talking like that. He been tired of 80%, what was it? No, he said 80 million did not take the juice. Joe Biden said that 80 million did not take the juice. He said he getting tired of it. And he's speaking for the elites, because the elites told him to say right, that. Right. The elites is getting tired of it. Yep. Okay? Because the elites feel like they own you. Yep. The elites don't own the Negro Latinos and Native Americans. The elect out of them. See? But the elites Had Joe Biden talking like that because the elite feel like they own you. We belong to Yahweh Bashim al -Shah. When the elite putting their hands on us or bothering us, they commit adultery, man, because we are have looked at the nation of Israel that looked at the most high as the most high's woman, man. See? So Esau Edom is committing adultery, man. And the death penalty is a death penalty for that, man. Adultery, man. Because we belong to Yahweh Shema Shah. See? Go ahead. And they shall take away certain of you. Yeah, certain of you are going to be taken away, man, because you believe in the system, man. You want to be joined to Esau, man. That's your mind state. Go ahead. And feed you being idle with things offered unto idols. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. And they that consent unto them shall be as in this, this, this derision, derision, so yeah. like, and they that consent unto them shall be, shall be had in derision. Yeah, because you people that take that, that, uh, that chip, that's the end game for you. You're going to be had in derision, man. Matter of fact, look up the word derision. You're going to be had in derision, man. You're going to be put to shame, man. See? We're gonna look up the word derision. Derision etymology. Not, not that. Derision etymology. Derision, let's see. 
mockery. Ridicule. Mockery. Yeah. You're going to be made mockery of. Because the most part of the end game is to put you in the grave with Esau. So the most high going to be laughing at you when your calamity hits you. Because you've been joined to Esau Edom, man. You're going to be headed in the region, man. They laughing. They laughing to scorn. See? You making mockery of us. But we got here teaching the word of y'all about Shemel Shai. When you submit to Esau Edom system 230, y'all, okay, when you take that chip, the most high gonna make mock of you because he's gonna put you in the grave right along with Esau. He's gonna laugh at your calamity. Go ahead, bro. And in reproach. Yep, a shame. Go ahead. And trotted underfoot. Yep, and trotted underfoot, man. Stomped out. Go ahead. For there shall be in every place and and in the next cities a great insurrection. You can see it, man. It's coming, man. You can see it, man. You can see that coming, man. You can see it coming, man. Okay, go ahead, bro. Upon those that fear the Lord, Yahweh by some Yahweh shot. Man, you can see it coming, man. See, the elites. We're speaking through Joe Biden, we're saying they're getting tired of it. Okay? They finna come down with the hammer, man. While you people, two thirds of y'all are sitting idle, man. They finna come down with the hammer, man. They bring a war to you Negro Latinos and Native Americans, man. On the left hand side. Go ahead. They shall be like madmen, sparing none but still spoiling and destroying those that fear the Lord. So Esau Edom come, gonna come like madmen. His military troops, man. His forces, man. They're gonna come like madmen, man. And who they gonna come after? The Israelites, man. Because when Ezra seen this, he seen in a vision, man. He seen the Israelites being taken, man. He seen Esau Edom coming after the Israelites, man. You see? Go ahead, bro. For they shall waste and take away their goods. See, whatever y'all got stored up, stocked up. All right, man, they're going to take that, man. Them troops going to take that. Go ahead. And cast them out of their houses. Some of y'all are going to concentration camps, man. Drug out of your house, man. Put in concentration camps, man. 